Today was the second day that I planned on riding Hazel, and the first thing I did was just start with some groundwork, just some basic round penning, going both directions, walk, trot, lope, and changing directions to the inside and the outside, and just a lot of transitions to get her mind focused on me and not focused on everything outside of the round pen. It's another windy day today, so I just like to do the groundwork first regardless, but especially on a windy day where she's looking for things to spook at. Alright, so today I just went ahead and basically got on her. I didn't break it down into so many steps of leaning off the side of her and all that good stuff. I just went ahead and got on. From all my previous sessions with her, I knew that she was going to be okay with this, so that's why I did that. And the whole time I just have her head flexed to the side, just in case she gets spooked by something and shoots forward, I have control. And now I'm just getting her used to me rubbing the sides of her body with my legs, showing her that that doesn't mean forward. Once again, Hazel was pretty sensitive to my leg pressure in the beginning. She kind of overreacted to it a bit, so we just spent the first few minutes getting her used to that, and she got over it really fast and realized that when I bump her with my leg, it just means walk forward. I'm not expecting her to really get going at a faster gait. It just means move forward. At this point in her training, she doesn't understand what inside and outside rain means or what inside and outside leg means. So all I'm looking for her right now to do is to just go forward when I ask. I use one rein, the inside rein, whatever direction I'm going. This time I'm going to the right. So I just have the right rein available for me to use to steer her and the outside rein, my left rein, is pretty much just slack at this point. I just use that hand mostly to hold onto the horn just because with her being a green horse and this only being her second ride, I have my hand there as a safety precaution in case something goes wrong, that I can have some stability to hold on. And then my rein that I'm using to steer her, I just let her go in a circle. And the exercise that I'm basically doing with her the whole first ride and second ride is I just put pressure on that rein and ask her to turn. And then when she goes where I want her to go, I give her release. And then if she leaves where I want her to go, then I pick up that rein again and we turn a little circle and I place her right back on the path again and then release pressure. And I can do this a million times. And what it basically teaches her to do is just go in the direction that I asked you to go. Otherwise, I will place you right back on it. And because she doesn't understand outside rain at this point, that's kind of my only spot to go, is to just use that same inside rain, turn a circle, and put her back, back on the path. Eventually we'll get to the point where I can just steer her nose back over to the other direction with the other rain, but I just find it sometimes a little bit confusing for them in the beginning to add too many different directions at once. Let's just focus on going one way, one direction, one rein, one side of the brain. Keep it simple in the beginning. It doesn't take them long at all to figure it out. And by the third or fourth ride, I imagine we'll be using both reins a little bit more. And I kept this ride to just simply walking. I don't need to add any extra confusion at this point. And with it being such a windy day, there's no need to try and prove anything that I can trot and lope this horse in the first couple rides. I don't really care about that. We'll get to that point in her training later on. Probably by the third or fourth ride, if we have a decent day, I'll ask her for a trot. And if she does good with that, then we'll probably lope as well. I don't really think that she's going to buck. The only thing I am concerned about is that she might spook or move sideways quickly. So that was her one spook of that ride. It wasn't really that big of a deal. She spooked. She didn't panic. She stopped herself after she spooked and thought about what she was doing. And then I just turned her in a circle just to get her mind back on me again. And we went right back to whatever we were doing before. Now 
what I'm doing here is I'm just asking her to turn a circle as we go around the round pen. So we're just going all the way around the round pen, just turning circles, and then we go forward on the track, and we turn another circle, and it just helps with her turns and shows her that when she's out on the rail here, she gets a little bit of a break. When she comes in, then we work a little bit harder. Just gets her softer to the halter. And then I asked her to stop. And we had done this a few times in the ride, but I did ask her to back up here as well. And she's just getting so much softer. I'm quite amazed on the second ride how soft she's becoming already. I barely had to put any pressure on the halter and I managed to ask her for three or four good steps there. Then it got off. She moved a little bit so I just went ahead and asked her to keep flexing her head and that's the end of our ride. Thanks for watching.